Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Badina and I'm not sure why I'm posing like this. Um, today, I have just finished doing a video where I, did, where I was showing the Rigetti RC6 cello and the Scotchell SCC35CE cello. Long name, I know. Um, and it was interesting because, you know, Scott Chow and um, Peter Guan, they used to work on the Rigetti cellos. And then there was some sort of disagreement -y thing where, and then they ended up being Scott Chow and Rigetti cellos done separately. And so it's a real grudge match between these two. There's no love lost between these two brands. And so I thought, you know, I've done those two models. Why not do the next model up as well? Have get out your dukes and let's get ready to have a fight between the Scott Chow SCC 100 cello and the Rigetti Master Series. The Rigetti Master Series, what model of Rigetti Master Series? Hang on. Oh. Yeah, Rigetti Master Series 6.0. And that one, the Rigetti Master Series, is a Goffrilla copy, and this one is a Stradivarius copy. Not, unfortunately, a real Stradivarius, otherwise I'd sell it, retire, live on an island somewhere. <sighs> oh well. Now, this Scott Chow, I'll bring it closer. Um, it has beautiful, beautiful Grain. You can see and feel the little grain lines there. And I love it when they are varnished so finely that you can um, see those little grain lines. This one had a bit of a little interesting defecty thingy just under the varnish there, which because of that little defect, we're selling this for five thousand dollars more. You know, like when um, you know, there's a there's a stamp where the plane was printed upside down, and they they sell for um, you know uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. I think the same should be said for this cello. Actually, that's a lie. No, I'll be selling it slightly cheaper because of that little varnishy thing going on there. But you know, it's not a structural problem. It's just, in fact, it's like a birthmark. Do not criticize it. This cello will get upset. Now, Scott Chow SCC 100 cello, let's have a listen. possibly be a better cello for around the $4,000 mark. Could not be. Could not be. There is no point in trying that Rigetti Master Series cello. Oh, look, I'll try it anyway. Oh, this is really cute, this cello. All right. Looks good, looks good, but can't possibly sound as good as that. It's got chow. Now, let's have a look. The varnish on this one is a bit sort of more transparent and slightly glossier. Very fancy looking maple on the back there. The Rigetti Master Series always use beautiful, beautiful wood. It's a different, different colour as well. It's less sort of honey colour, a little bit more of a reddish brown tint. Um, they're a beautiful looking cello but can't possibly sound as good as that Scott Chow. This one also has, 
I would say very, 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 very similar amount of depth to the Scott Chow. It's got a more ringing sort of, and I would definitely say more sustain than the Scott Chow. The notes sort of flow into each other more. The Scott Chow has um, a slightly sort of woodier sound, like this quality about the sound which, yeah, a woody sort of quality to the sound, which is really, really beautiful. Where this has, I mean, it's interesting that often cellos sound the way they look. This one looks a little bit shinier and sounds a little bit shinier and more ringy and sparkly. But the Scott Chow sounds a little bit more, yeah, more woody because like at the, maybe the, the varnish is slightly more matte finish and the, the wood is, you know, being exposed somehow. I'll play them one after another and you have a listen. Tell me what you think. you know like if I had five of this particular SCC 100 cello each one is going to sound different because they're all a different piece of wood um, and these two represent really good models of both of those cellos I would really struggle to choose for myself just as I did with the cheaper models of these Riggedy and Scott Chows and that is why I'm still stocking both of them even though they had an enormous fight those two makers and cellos flew Violin smashed. I think both brands get a thumbs up at Whitehorse Music. <laughs> 